for a genre team up. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Cowboys and Aliens. Who is she? She's the only one who knows who I am. You know who you are. You just have to remember. Grab your guns. We're right now. Come on! We, we get our people! We have one advantage. They underestimate you. Yes, it's sci-fi meets western, but the question is, who has the stronger box office genetics? The highest grossing western of all time is still 1990's Dances with Wolves, while a hot new sci-fi movie comes out every summer. And speaking of team-ups, this movie also boasts one between James Bond and Indiana Jones. But are we talking Casino Royale meets The Last Crusade, or Quantum of Solace meets The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Surely both actors have their fingers crossed for the former, as Ford hasn't had a hit outside of his iconic franchise for a decade, and in Craig's case, never. Cowboys and Aliens is also a crucial film for John Favreau, the actor-writer turned director who had a bright spot with Elf, but really put himself on the map with the Iron Man movies. However, after Iron Man 2, he was taken off the franchise. Big mistake, or is that franchise all about Robert Downey Jr.? And on that note, Robert Downey Jr. was supposed to star in Cowboys and Aliens and even introduce Favreau to the original comic book. But when Sherlock Holmes was such a big hit and Warner Brothers fast-tracked the sequel, well, Downey Jr. rode off into the sunset. Know who else rode into the sunset on this movie? Indians! In the original comic book, they are a major player as the iconic adversaries team up against this new threat of aliens. Man, forget aliens. Why is Hollywood always so scared of diversity? Let's go find out what audiences have to say. Does John Favreau have a career post Iron Man? Yes. The first Iron Man was probably one of the best superhero movies like ever because it was smart. Is this smart? Yeah, it's pretty smart. I think yeah. Iron Man was a pretty spectacular film in the first place, the first Iron Man. Um, yeah. So it, it definitely proved he had potential and this was fantastic. I'm not a big fan of the Iron Man movies, okay. but I actually like this better than Iron Man at oh, least. Oh really? Okay, yeah. cool. Why? Why did you like it better? I don't know. It was a sharper story. I thought the first Iron Man was kind of typical. This was good. It was, it was, it started off slow. Okay. But it got better. Ooh, like yeah. a lot better or got just, a lot better. oh, got good, a lot good, good. Better. It's a Western in every sense of the word, just uh, with aliens thrown in there, here and there. It's not anything different. So it does get a little slow at times. So tell me, is this more of a Western or a sci-fi? Western. I would say it's Western, but. I don't you know. Think? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's really, I think it's, it's a total marriage of the two. The question everybody wants to know, how is Harrison Ford? He played well. Is he the Indiana spot. Jones good or? No, he was uh, uh, a different flavor. Oh yeah, he's a badass. Oh good. He's, he's kind of washy at first, but at the end he's, he turns, he does his, you know, his, his, his famous look. He was good. I mean, he's doing his usual growling thing. Oh, his new thing? His <laughs> yeah, new they, usual thing that no yeah. one wants to see? Yeah. Okay. Oh, How is Daniel Craig? He's, he's cool. He gets beat up a lot, and that's cool. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't pay that much attention to him. To Daniel I'm Craig? Sorry. Yeah, the star. Oh, well, yeah, the sometimes star. when you play the strong, silent type, people uh, yeah, overlook yeah. you. Yeah, you're right? right. You're right. Honestly, I'm kind of fatigued on the whole alien thing. I mean, we've already seen three or four of these movies in a year. It's true, yeah. And then they had the preview for Battleship with it. Ah, uh, so, more yeah. aliens. The title was horrible. Um, should have been called Cowboys, Indians, and Aliens. And that's negligence and Hollywood's way of maintaining status quo. I hear there are Indians in this movie. There are Indians in this movie. Do you feel they should have been in the trailer? Um, not necessarily. Okay. Uh, but they were real Indians. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it was a good surprise? Do you think Hollywood? Well, you I think, think there were several good surprises. Um, you know, I don't think it would have hurt to have some Indian, Native American, First Nation, whatever, in, yeah. the, in the trailer, um, just from a representation standpoint. It definitely made sense with the cowboy genre. Is it worth seeing this movie in theaters? For a matinee price, yes, but regularly $13 an hour. Really? Ah. Is it worth renting it then? Renting, yes. Some movies you can see in a rental, Netflix, whatever. This you need to see in a theater, like other, you know, great action movies. You just want to see it in the theater for the sound, for the effects. What would you give this movie on a 1 to 10? I would give it a 10. It was an 8. About a 6.5. Ooh. I would give it an 8. Okay, cool. What do you give it? Yeah, yeah, 8, 8 and a half. So it sounds like Cowboys and Aliens is solid summer fun as audiences overall give it an 8. 
and we're out here every week covering every major release, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.